Hi, this is Zach with Warner Wow. Uh, today I want to take a look at a interesting, curious, and slightly mysterious Swiss Army chronograph from the uh, mid to late 90s. Uh, now this is a watch uh, my father purchased, um, and he believes that this exact model is actually only available for a year. Um, one of the curious things about this watch, you'll notice right off the bat, is that uh, there is no moving seconds hand. Um, this here is, it's not broken, I promise, it's a, it's a uh, date hand. So you set that with this quick push button here, uh, which just will literally jump the date forward uh, one day at a time. Uh, and there is no moving seconds hand. Now, at least a year after that, this this watch came out, Swiss Army replaced it with a chronograph with a moving seconds hand, um, which is just probably more of a consumer-friendly type of, uh, of of a detail. But what is most interesting about this is that the chronograph movement shows signs of being a mecha quartz. Now the only time that we've seen a mecha quartz here worn around was in the Tecna Sparrowhawk 2, which is powered by a Seiko uh, mecha quartz movement, which is, which is pretty new, it's in the last uh, year at least. Um, in the past, uh, Jaeger, Lacoutre, and uh, Frederick Piguet both had mecha quartz movements, um, but I severely doubt one of those is in here. So now I just want to take a look at the uh, chronograph in action. So I start it here, and you'll immediately notice that the uh, main hand there is counting half seconds, um, which the index is actually marked for, which is uh, which is very nice. Um, you know, typically uh, in a in a quartz watch, that is you know, the the main register will be going at single seconds, and if it, the watch has a greater precision, uh, say one twentieth seconds or occasionally one one hundredth, one one thousandth, that'll be indicated in a sub-dial, which will be counting uh, separately. Um, so this is a really, you know, already one sign that this might be powered by a mecha quartz movement, but then perhaps more telltale is uh, the reset. So there, I've stopped it, and resetting it, instant snapback, uh, which means that, you know, at least in the case of the Tecna, that there was a mechanical um, resetting there. Uh, just for the sake of comparison, I'll take a look at the uh, Tecna and the Swiss Army side by side in action. So, start them up. Uh, now you can see the Tecna actually beats at uh, one fifth a second, so it's slightly more precise. But regardless, both are going faster than, um, or with greater accuracy, I should say, than a one second chronograph register. Uh, now, stop them and reset. Tecna. Instant snap, and of course, instant snap back there as well. Taking a look at the case back of the uh, Swiss Army, you'll notice that um, it has pretty much very standard information, nothing with a, a caliber number or suggesting that it's, um, well, it doesn't even say it's quartz even, um, let alone mecha quartz. Uh, now I've tried, uh, I've tried searching for this um, on forums and on the internet, you know, just just generally, I haven't contacted Swiss Army directly, but uh, I can't find really anything out about what movement is in there or um, the history of this watch. So I thought uh, maybe some of our readers would know. Uh, so if you happen to know about this watch, let us know. Um, it's very interesting, kind of a curious little anomaly uh, in mid 90s uh, chronograph. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, feel free to comment. Um, and, you know, look us up on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. Bye.